Welcome to the tutorial for setting up um, VirtualBox with one of our VirtualBox images. So the links to download are in the description. Um, but what this is is a, an image that is specific to VirtualBox, a .vbox and a .vdi, and we can mount those in here. They're already pre-set up, so a really quick install. There's the two options, the new grid or new Ubuntu furnished and the new Ubuntu light. Um, difference being that new Ubuntu light doesn't have the pre-downloaded uh, SV entry or any pre-compiled code. So in this one, I'm going to set up one of them. Let's see, machine and add. And you navigate to wherever that downloaded VBox is. So I'll set up new Ubuntu light. You click open. It may say that you don't have a CD drive if you don't have a CD drive, which is okay. So I'll ignore that. And you can see here, I have it pre-dedicated to two gigabytes of RAM. Um, if that's a bit much for you, you can just go to your settings and you can change that. So this is how much RAM you have. Your processor, you can control how many CPUs. It seems to be running well with one CPU, so I'm happy with that. Um, oh, but maybe I'll give it a little bit more video memory. Let's see what I want to give it. How about that? Um, and then you click start. These are warnings on the um, on releasing and capturing your keyboard and mouse if you can't leave it. Um, that'll be specific to machines, so make sure to read that. And again. And again. And there, it's already all set up. The administrative password and username for this, um, for both of these setups is NewGrid. And the last part of setup is if you want to be able to change resolutions, what you need to do is go up to Devices and click Install Guest Editions. It, may, it might not come pre like that, and that'll be in one of the next videos. The first thing you might want to do is go to your home folder and check out the README file, which will give you some tips on how to get started with uh, mounting the CADC data and dealing with the SVN tree. To close the machine, just click the X in the top left or top right if you're on Windows corner, and you can send the shutdown signal and tell it to shut down. And there we go. Thanks for watching.